Hi everyone, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the uh, the server admin and the server name directive. Um, so again, we're going to go to our HTTP config file and we're going to take a look for the server admin first. So you can see the server admin is just set up as quite simply a um, a uh, an email address. Uh, this generally only gets uh, displayed in error pages that'll come up on your system. Um, so sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad to have it there. You can get a lot of spam from it, but we're just going to go through uh, the process of making the change to it. Um, the other directive we're going to take a look at is the server name directive. So the server name lets you give a uh, an address name to your uh, server um, and uh, it can be used for some stuff later like virtual hosting that we'll get into uh, once you uh, once we get a little more adept at using uh, our configuration file but uh, it lets you just assign a uh, an address or a name or even a port to your uh, to your server so we're going to go through and uh, take a look at that. Now, right now you can see that it's actually turned off because it's commented out. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncomment that, put it in a, uh, and we're going to just put a, uh, a name there. Uh, again, for me to be able to do this, I still need to be the super user or the root user. So first we'll get the server admin. So right now the server admin is set to root at localhost. We're going to just change that to uh, me at myserver.ca. Um, I'm not using a real uh, mail address here, uh, especially when I'm doing this up as a video. Uh, I don't want any one email to uh, address to get swamped. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to uh, the server name and we're actually going to turn server name on and we're going to say that our server name is going to be uh, www.myserver.com and we'll leave it set to port 80 for now. Uh, again, as we already have seen, nothing happens until we actually restart our web servers. So we'll do that. And now we're going to try to go to to myserver.ca. Now, while we may well get to a place called myserver.ca, um, it won't be to the one that I kind of set up. Uh, it's not available. So and the reason that we're not getting to it is either no one has actually bought that domain yet uh, and then the other part of the reason is that even though we've named our server in here we still need to change something in the hosts file I'm going to do a separate video related to the hosts file in a few minutes um, for you guys so that you're able to uh, to get around some DNS issues But when we take a look at the host file, dot, I'm just going to put in um, www.myserver.ca in that particular spot. You notice there was one there for Ed Server too. So now if I go to refresh to go to there, I'm going to find my Fedora test page, um, my file.html will be there. And if I go to Ed Server, I should get the same thing. And I do. Um, the The main reason we end up uh, using these two directives is just to let redirection work. Uh, again, something we'll get into a uh, a little bit later. So that's just a little quick clip on how to uh, how to change those two particular directives. Uh, I have. 
uh, one more kind of introductory um, video to go through with you guys for uh, uh, for the Linux um, side of things as as is related to uh, directives, and that's uh, to do with the user dir uh, directive. And I'll get into that uh, in our, our next video. So I'll see you then.